says two muffins for one dollar. So why can't I have eight? Because rhubarb, there's a limit on how many muffins you can order at the same time. At a time? Oh, what if I come back in five minutes? Will you let me buy more? No, because we only bake 20 muffins a day. You can't have them all. This is stupid, false advertising. I'm gonna come back with my dad. He's a lawyer and I'm not paying for these. <sighs> she says that every time. I got us two lattes. Strawberry, you are going to fail your exams if you don't open your textbook. Oh, I know. Like, I'm so over history. It's not gonna change. So why do I need to study it? Can I just cheat off of you, Raja? Why would I let you cheat off me? Because don't you like me? If you liked me, you'd totally let me cheat off of you. Besides, who can study when the holiday of love is coming up? Christmas. The holiday of love is Valentine's Day. Christmas is the season of giving. Speaking of giving, what are you giving me for Christmas? Nothing. What are you getting me? I don't give. I just get. Study. Hey, what can I get for you? Uh, something that will let me stay awake for the next six hours. Ah, so black coffee. Perfect. Why do we have so many presidents? Like, why do they keep quitting? Why can't we just have one? Uh, oh, who's that cutie? Oh, that guy? I think he goes to Hollywood High. You wouldn't know him. Why? Because he's a senior. What's your point? I know all the seniors there. How do you think I got the nickname Berrylicious Lips? Who calls you that? The seniors? Maybe you don't recognize him. He hit puberty late. Wait, <gasps> Zach, like scrawny Zach with the brown tooth who smelled like boiled carrots. I guess. I kissed him, you know, during a game of seven minutes in heaven at Cinnamon's birthday party in middle school. <gasps> you were doing that in middle school? I should totally hook up with him again. I mean, a lot has changed since middle school. <laughs> My little berries have become GMO berries. and <laughs> Juicy, juicy, juicy. Don't bother, he's gay. Oh, bummer. <sighs> Do you think he became gay after kissing me? I'm a really good kisser, despite what people say about me using way too much tongue. I use the right amount. He's not gay because of you. That makes no sense. Oh, thank God. I was about to go depresso. Hey, Bertha, one espresso. My name is Gladys. No. Ah, I thought you were Bertha. There's a girl in my school named Bertha who looks just like you, Glanis. One black coffee? Thanks. Uh, how much do I owe you? Don't worry about it, I'll Oh, you sure? I'm sure. Thanks. Did you see that? Daniel just got a free drink, which means Zach is totally into him. Really? That's so nice. Now back to studying. One strawberry frap, extra whip for our strawberry? That's for me, BRB. That one's mine. So creamy. You really do know how to make the best frappuccino. Cool, 5 99 please. Huh? Aren't you just gonna take it out of your tip jar or something? No. Five nine nine, please. That was so embarrassing. Shut up. No one says no to rhubarb. Looking for a book? Trying. Can I recommend you one? Sure. This one's my favorite. Aristotle and Dante discovered the secrets of the universe. Oh, cool. It's about friendship, loyalty, trust, love. I promise you'll love it. And if you don't, I'll owe you a free drink. Then I guess I'll have to read it. Here's hoping you don't like it so you can come back for that free drink. They're totally into each other. I can totally feel it. You don't have a 10 cents for telling when someone likes someone. Strawberry, there's only five senses. Oh, sense one. Nah, not for me. 
I spread a lot of rumors this year, which caused a lot of drama, so that obviously put me on Santa's naughty list, plus a bunch of stuff I can't talk about that I did behind the portable. So I should totally hug Zach and Daniel up. Maybe the good deed will pull me back on Santa's nice list. Yeah, okay, BRB. <laughs> Hey boys, how y'all doing? Zach, puberty did you good? I just want to play Santa's little helper and come here and say that you guys are both feeling each other so let's not be shy anymore and exchange numbers. I was going to regardless, with or without him, so. Mm, so sure, sure. I know this may sound a little bit too forward, but I, uh... Oh, yes, sorry. Privacy, totally. Bye. Do you want to hang out sometime? Uh, me? Like the two of us? Yeah. Here, give me your phone. There's my number. If you change your mind, text it. Yeah, uh, cool. Sure. Nice to meet you, Dana. Sir, there's a really long line behind you. Can you hurry up? How will I know without tasting? I want a sample of each one. We don't do sampling. See you, Gladys. Thank you for the free muffin. Oh, hello, Daniel. Oh, here, Raja. I don't mind to be in your business. Don't mind, na? You look a little nervous to text. Zach back. It's just that I am. Uh... Never been on a date with a guy before. Look, you dated Cinnamon. You had no problem with that. Why should this be any different? Yeah, I guess you have a point. Huh? Oh, my mommy is here. Look, text him back. See him tonight. Raja approves. Thanks, Raja. Hey. That was fast. Huh? Read the book already? Oh, uh, no. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out tonight. Tell me about other books. I'd love that. Hey. Hey. Hot chocolate? Thanks. I thought you might need something hot on this walk. Yeah, totally. Don't be nervous. Me? Nervous? Nah. Is it that obvious? <laughs> Let's go. I read that book you recommended, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> I just uh, never read a book about... Um, Two guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming you never hung out with one alone with one either. Uh, no, no I have. Uh, <laughs> like guys on the soccer team and um... But not like this? No. <laughs> so, do you have any siblings? Oh, oh. You okay? Yeah, totally <laughs> meant to do that on purpose. <laughs> Huh. Uh, so when did you come out? Um, last year. I felt like I didn't really have to come out. You know, why should I tell someone my personal business? No one has to come out at street. That's true. Uh, so how'd your parents handle it? Um, they were okay. It took a minute for my parents to process it, but they came around. Have you told anyone that you know you're right? No, I didn't, but um, everyone kind of found out. Because this girl from school decided to reveal everyone's secrets in some twisted version of Squid Game. So, my parents are still processing it. I'm sure they'll come around. Yeah. Oh! Why am I the only one falling on ice? I guess someone's falling tonight. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I want to show you something. Wow, this place is stunning. Right? Mr. Lansan, the guy who owns the library slash coffee shop, he put it up. He always said everyone's chasing after something with their heads buried in their technology. He wanted to create something where someone could just take a second, stop, and look up. Who knows what they'll see? Or whom? Oh, it's poetic. I always wanted to bring someone here. You're making me feel special. You are special. You cheapo! Couldn't pay for parking! You have to park the car 10 blocks away at a gas station! 
You're lucky I took you out for our anniversary. Happy anniversary, baby. <laughs> hey, isn't that that boy from real school who Tuchi is crazy about? What's his name? What's his name? Daniel. Hey, Daniel, what's up? Remember me, man? Uh, don't mind, ma'am. What are you doing, you idiot? Read the room. They are on a date. Hello, Daniel. So nice to see you. Please. You kids have fun, but not too much fun, naughty, naughty. <laughs> You have no romantic bone in your body. Let's go, fat man. We need to eat. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Got it.